Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Marvel Snap video. That time of the week again, we'll be doing the top 10 meta decks of the week. We're lucky enough to have had the Snap Battle Arena tournament go on yesterday. So we've taken five of the top eight decks out and put them in here because they, just, they did well in the tournament, which makes them good decks. And the, the archetypes that are doing well, obviously, you can flex some of the cards in there. I only took the top five because the other ones were very similar. Like there was three or four Thanos control lists, so like one card different or something. So we need to have one of them. Anyways, let's get into it. So the first meta deck, it seems to be Thanos' time right now. And the winner, I believe, Thanos Control won the Battle Arena last time as well, a couple of weeks ago. So it won it again. So it's a Thanos Control. So you've got your Lockdown and your Professor X. You obviously use a Thanos. You've got Spider-Man. Claw to reach the Lockdown lanes. Jeff. You've got your stones, you've got Daredevil to show you what you got, you've got some ramp in here. It's very similar, if not exactly the same as the list that won a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure what would be different. It looks very similar. So, you know, you've got your blue marvel to buff, though. I lost to this list yesterday in the tournament as well, first round. Which kind of sucks. So, Thanos Control, again, really good. I did a video on a similar list for this earlier in the week. Great list, give it a go. Second place was uh, a She-Hulk list, I guess the best way to call it is. <clears throat> you've got your She-Hulk, you've got your magic, you've got your one cost with um, High Evolutionary in here to easily just float a turn. Instead of having Infinite, you've got Hulk because you're running High evolutionary so you've got obviously moon girl to copy she hulk the newly buff magic to get out on turn three then you can just skip turns and get your she hulks down quite easily fun list this is this is old school right other than you want to have like the high evil card and you'd have infinite instead i like the fact that the buff to magic made this Viable again. Second place in a 128 man tournament. Pretty good. Give it a go. And then the top four decks. A dino. The, like standard dino with your Agent 13. Your Fury. Quinjet. Dino. Cosmo not only goes in here and obviously Shang-Chi. You've got the Zabu so you can play the Iron Lad and that. Skrull because there's a lot of ongoing. So this is this was a tech choice. This is the only card I don't really understand why this was in here. I feel like this should be like Agent uh, Agent Coulson instead of Debris. But who am I to question a top four deck in a tournament? And the other top four deck was a Patriot list. Another favourite of mine. Uh, Iron Patriot, we got your Iron Lad, you got your Invisible Woman, uh, Patriot, Mystique, Blue Marvel, and you got your Doom and your Ultron. You can go tall with Sinister and Brood as well. Killmonger was to deal with all the ones and stuff. Maybe now that it bounces a little less potent, you could probably uh, put Killmonger. Damn, I got a lot of boosters. Killmonger, I need a very. You could probably end up cutting Killmonger now, because I don't know what ones are still getting played about, so. But this is the list, got top four tournament, and then the other one from the tournament is a high evolutionary lockjaw deck, showing that it can still compete, even with the nerfs to cards like Spider Ham he's got in here, the nerfs to the high evo cards. This is a Dracula version to make up for the lack of the loss of power you got from your Hulk in here. Standard kind of list, you know, you cheat out big dudes, win. Okay, pretty good. Then we're going to move on to some other decks. So, help. Uh, Living Tribunal has been doing well this week. Since the changes, since the OTA. So, and Hella was 
doing all right as well. So we decided to put them together in this list. Like Hell had been doing well, Height, Living Tribunal, and then some mad lad tried to put them all together. Because why not? Because a lot of them stack together. Like the Living Tribunal list, you have Invisible Woman, you have Iron Man, you have Onslaught, Living Tribunal, right? So you have that strategy if you want to go that way. The difference being you also have the Hella, the Mordok into Hella play. So you've got two outs instead of one. Very interesting. I can't wait to make a list, a video on that list. And then we've got a, a move list. It's like uh, with a buffed up Phoenix, because once you get Phoenix Force out on four, my god, is it broken. So you want to get that out, so you've got your multiple man into like Carnage or Venom early on, and then you get this out. And then you can start moving around with Ghost Spider, Heimdall. Uh, you could get rid of like uh, Vulture for Doctor Strange or like or Spider Man 299 in here, or even the Silk or the Shavaz. It's kind of open. Like the core of the deck is like Ghost Spider, Iron Fist, Carnage, Multiple Man, Venom, Phoenix Force. Probably dagger as well. And then the rest of it is kind of open, which makes it kind of good. I like it. I prefer more of a techie option myself with like a Magneto or Aero or something like that. But I like this version of well, pretty good. And then we'll get on to some other decks. This is a deck that I've been playing with myself, doing quite well in Conquest. It, it's terrible into. Finals control, which is upsetting because it's what I faced first round of the tournament yesterday. It's not quite done yet, but it's like my twin warhead. The idea is just Negasonic and Phoenix Force. You control the stuff with Professor X and Daredevil and stuff like that. And then you just win the other lane. Interesting list. I still need some work on it, but... Uh, I had an echo in here for all the ongoing. It's been working well on Conquest for me. I got an infinite ticket with it last night. I just thought I'd show it off. It's not fully done yet, but there's definitely something here with this warhead. Then we're going on to some magic. See the magic surfer list. Uh, this The thing with surfer decks is it's stupidly flexible right now. You can choose what to do, right? If I was to change it, I would probably get rid of Jean Grey for Storm. And then you have, yeah, then you have, what you call it, there's a magic on three. And then you could, on six, Storm the lane. If you get Sarah down, you could, like, Sarah uh, on five and into Storm, I don't know, another three. And a surfer, something like that. Gives you this annoying potential of taking away a lane. You can obviously, obviously super flexible. You don't need to run magic. You can put Juggernaut in here. You don't need to be running like the Gambit, Ghost Spider type stat stuff. You can just get rid of Black Cat. For... There's so many frees right now. The This list, it's, list is so open. So many good frees. So a quick Ganderilla, Rhino. You could keep Juggernaut. Shadow King fits in there. Polaris, Maximus, there's so many good free drops you can put in here now, which is making Surfer really dangerous. And I believe lastly, one of my favorite lists, I just did a video on this yesterday, is this Ramp Living Tribunal list. This was, it's crazy how consistent this list is. I'm not even joking. Like the amount of times I was getting out 20 plus power in each lane is crazy. It's only consistent and only works because Enchantress seems to just be dead. I don't understand the lack of Enchantress right now, considering it seems to be a lot of ongoing stuff that Enchantress would be great against. Like, or you could counter it with Goose. Goose is another card that just shuts this down, right? You just Goose their Invisible Woman and their combo's dead. It's just, it just works So This list just works. You get so much power out, it was stupidly consistent. Uh, so that's it for this week's 10, top, top 10 meta decks. I hope you enjoy it, the video. Uh, if you've got any other decks, please put uh, a comment down. 
give me some deck ideas, tell me which ones you like, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.